I love you, I love it here. Oh my god! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> oh my goodness! Um, hey, it's been four months already. I can't actually believe it. I hope you're doing well. Oh my god, Lorraine! Thank you so much for the four months. I really, really appreciate it. How are you doing today? I cannot believe it's been four months. That is actually crazy. Is that a tier three? Oh my god! You are so incredibly generous. I really appreciate it so much. And also Gina, my love, thank you so much for the 16 months. What the actual heck? I love you so much. I am so thankful for all of you. Um, how is everyone doing today? What a start of stream. Did you start a hype train with that? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> You're doing okay. Uh, thanks. Yeah, it's it's tier three. That is actually crazy. Zoe, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, my love. Also, Justin, welcome in at Nightmare. Hello. And don't mind me. I was just giving Streamlabs a sub because <laughs> it ran out, apparently. And we need Streamlabs to have access to the emotes, of course. Um, but we have Olive here and Mandy and Elizabeth and Panda and Mary, that girl, Amy, Okuleta. I am so sorry you're going through a hard time right now. I'm sending you all the love and hugs and positive energy. Um, and happy that you're here. Hopefully we can help you relax a little bit. Uh, Lemon is here and Tara and Aless. Welcome in everyone. How is it going? It is so good to see you all. It's finally sunny today, so I'm good. Oh, that's good. That is good. I'm good. Thank you for asking. Yeah, um, it was sunny here yesterday. Not so much today. It's really windy and like kind of rainy and stuff. Hang on. I need to adjust my windows. Everything's a mess. <laughs> I just kind of, I just kind of started streaming and I didn't really prepare anything. <laughs> Where's my captions? There we go. Um, 
Friday, yeah, it's finally Friday. Uh, Bobolini, welcome in, how is it going? Let me tell you, this week, uh, it feels like a lifetime with the whole floop, sick thing, and then just everything. It was, it, uh, I need a vacation, <laughs> I'm so tired. But I'm happy to be here and just like play some Sims, do a little bit of building. That always really calms me down. Since I miss Wednesday stream, how is Loop doing? She is doing so much better. She is almost back to her normal self, as far as I can see. Um, she is off of the painkillers, uh, painkillers, and she is now only taking the anti-nausea medication only once a day instead of the like three times of medication a day with the painkillers and stuff, um, which is pretty stressful for her. Thankfully, we now only have to give her like a tiny little pill in the morning for the, against like the, the nausea and that's it. And she's doing really, really good. And it seems to be fine. Like she doesn't seem to be in any pain. She is eating. Um, her eating is not all the way back to normal, but I think that that's my fault. Cause I've really been spoiling her with like tasty kinds of like food, like the wet food and like all kinds of fancy brands and flavors. <laughs> So now when her regular food bowl goes off, her um, dispenser, she makes a run for it because she's like, oh, food. And then she's like, this is not fancy food. <laughs> and then she like takes a couple bites and walks away. So today I'm like, she had a really good breakfast. I spoiled her this morning. And now I'm like, okay, I'm going to hold off. If she really gets hungry, she'll eat her regular food. And if she hasn't had any regular food by tonight, I'll give her some of the fancy food, you know? But I like, I feel like I'm spoiling her too much and now she doesn't want to eat her <laughs> normal food anymore. Um, do you have to force it down her throat? How does she do with that? Yeah, so the vet actually taught me to um, how to do it. So what I do is I turn her I wrap her in a towel, so she's like a little burrito. I put her down on the towel, I wrap the towel around her and that immediately calms her down. And then I can just like grab her little face and it's teamwork with Sir. Like I hold her, open her mouth, Sir puts in the pill, a little bit of water and it's done. It's like, it's 10 seconds. Um, and she does really well with that. Not the burrito yet. It's actually funny, like she calms down immediately. I put her in the towel and she's like, I hate this, but sure, I just won't move. <laughs> it's actually really sweet. Uh, learning Simlish, welcome in. How is it going? And Simmy Mom. Yeah, so this is fun. Um, uh, I'm so glad to hear that she's doing better. Yeah, the poor baby. She's doing really well. And actually, yesterday, I was really nervous about it, but she was really back to her old self and the way she was behaving and stuff and she seemed to be fine and she really wanted to go outside um and it was really nice weather so i was like you know what i'm just gonna try it i'll be anxious but i'll be that next week too it's fine so i let her outside and she was really happy and like an hour later she came back and it was all chill and it was really nice so that was good um Going well, getting ready to play the game with you. Oh, that is so cozy. Yeah, it's Friday. Do we have any fun weekend plans? Mm, so glad to hear Flu was doing better. Yeah, she's doing really well. <gasps> that is a really cute choo-choo emote, Gina. Do I have that one? Oh, yes, I have that one. That is so cute. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, so today I wanted to build a little fixer upper in Brindleton Bay. And it's actually for my pack legacy challenge that I play over on YouTube. Um, so not the not so berry we play here, but the one I play on YouTube. And I wanna build a cute house cause the Sims I'm playing with are currently living in a rental. And I wanna have them move into their own house and they don't have a lot of money to spend. So I wanna try to keep the cost down. And that's why I was like, you know what? Let's build a little fixer upper that is not too nice and has cheap stuff. And then we can like work on that over time and like try if we see if we can like fix it up a little bit. I, I don't want to make like an unlivable fixer upper, but just like a house that's not super nice, but cute. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's kind of what I'm trying to go for. 
I think I'll copy your build you do today and try to build it in The Sims 2. I need to fix her up of her mind too. Oh, that is so fun. My daughter has our state gymnastics uh, meet this week. Oh my God, that is so exciting, Simi Mom. <gasps> Best of luck. That is so cool. Let us know how it goes. Uh, I just got over being sick, so I'm catching up on house things. Excited for your build. I'm happy to hear that you're getting over being sick. I'm sending you lots of positive energy to speed up that recovery even more for you, but I'm happy to hear that you're feeling better. A home for Hazel and Jane. Exactly. Yes. Of their future baby? Babies? Multiple? I don't know. Maybe they'll, maybe they'll have two, you know? Um... I think that would be really cute. In case someone missed it in Discord, yes, thank you, Alas, for pointing it out once again. The Sims 4 backyard stuff is free right now. Yeah, if you want, if you don't have that stuff pack, the backyard stuff, it's actually, a, I really like that pack. It's free, so grab it while you can. I'm not exactly sure how long that lasts for. I'm hoping a little bit there, but it's probably, it's, it's not forever, right? Also, I believe there is a sale going on right now too, which of course you can use code Simmery Sims for <laughs> my affiliate code if you want to. <laughs> uh, Alara, welcome in. Uh, just letting you all know I'm on day 17 for learning Dutch every day for 30 days straight over halfway there. <gasps> I am so proud of you. Oh my God. <gasps> I am Dutch. If you... Um, if you want to practice like a sentence or something. <laughs> I am so proud of you. That is actually insane. Day 17, that is over halfway there. You got this. I am so bad at that kind of stuff. I feel like I need to um, be like you and try my best a little bit more. I, I'm, I've am i been trying to learn Spanish for years, but I just can't seem to stick with it for some reason. And I feel like I need to be like you because you're you're doing really well. I wish the code worked on console. Yeah, that's it. Do I don't think it does. No, it's really it's really sad. Finally, a horse ranch. Oh, I bought packs on sale too with your code. Oh, thank you, Alas. That makes me so happy. That is so kind of you to do that. You got horse ranch. <gasps> that is fun. No, listen, I love horse ranch. It's such a fun pack. Uh, Mikasa, thank you so much for saying hello. How is it going? Welcome in. I finished two years of Spanish in one semester in high school. Ooh, do I remember 90% of it? No. <laughs> I feel like that's the thing though, right? With languages, you can learn it, but if you don't put it into practice, then I mean, that's with pretty much with everything though, right? That you're trying to learn. It's the same with math, for example. Do I remember any of the math I ever learned in school? No, because <laughs> I don't apply it. So I don't know. Uh, I'll go lurk. There's been an issue with with a birthday. Oh no, for your mom and I want to go see if, if they still have it. <gasps> yes, thank you so much for the lurk. And I hope you figure it out. Um, that sounds stressful and annoying. I hope that it gets um, figured out, my love. I just applied for my third term for my degree in uni. Oh, Eve, Nightmare Eve, I'm so proud of you. That's so exciting. Did you all see that EA is already teasing a new pack? Excuse me, what? I have missed everything this week. Wait, where did they tease what? I need to look this up. I completely missed this. Like, if I hear someone speaking Spanish, I can get the gist of it. Yeah, I feel like I'm the same, though they would have to speak calmly, <laughs> slowly, which doesn't usually happen. <laughs> but like, when my sister speaks Spanish, my sister lives in Spain, um, when she speaks Spanish, her being a, a Dutch person speaking Spanish fluently, but like, I can follow her because she doesn't speak as crazy fast and also she is Dutch so she probably has like a little bit of an accent too which makes it easy for me <laughs> to, to understand. May, my love welcome in. How is it going? It is so good to see you. Um it's a party build pack. I a party build pack? I think it was on to Is this for like the kit or expansion pack? 
Because they did say that there was going to be a celebratory kit, right? Let me open Twitter, see if I can find anything. Crystal Creations. Um, I don't really see anything on their Twitter. Wait. Posts? Dang it. Why? I'm not seeing it. Celebratory kit. Right. Well, that's kind of fun. Lynn, welcome in. How is it going? It's good to see you too. Love, it's going well here. How are you today? I'm happy to hear that, my love. Do you have work today or are you off? Um, I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. I'm very tired after this heck of a week with floop. Um, but my anxiety is like way down now so that's good floop's gonna be okay she actually is okay so <laughs> that's a huge relief uh, now i just need a vacation <laughs> you know what i mean but i'm happy to be here and just like build uh and chill a little bit you don't see anything yeah i heard that they teased something but I've, I've seen someone now that you mention it i've seen someone say it and but i, I can't find it I only half paid attention to a video about it this morning. Yeah, under, yeah. I'll have to do some more research on this. It's interesting. I want to know. I'm excited for a celebratory. I'm. I mean, I'm excited for any build kit. Honestly, <laughs> doesn't matter. I'll take them all. Um, that's good to hear. Thank you, my love. It is so good to see you. Anyway, yeah. I want to build a cute fixer upper in Brindleton Bay for Hazel and Jane, the two main characters of my pack legacy challenge that I play over on YouTube. And they don't have a lot of money to spend. Let me go, let me show you, let me show you where I want to build. You don't want a party pack. Yeah, I don't like parties either. <laughs> but maybe it's a good excuse to build another, um, community lot like a party venue or something maybe it goes well for with like wedding venues luxury party was enough i feel like we're all a little bit scarred by that one you know they mention a celebratory kit and our brain all of our brains immediately go oh no not another glowing cube you know what i mean we don't need another glowing cube please don't give us any more glowing cubes <laughs> you know what i mean but maybe this is actually going to be a good one. I don't know. That's what you're thinking. Yeah, my brain goes there too. Is there anything good on the luxury party pack? Listen. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't mean to be mean. But no. That's all I'm gonna say. My second luxury party pack. <laughs> oh no. Like, uh, what is it you ask? I don't know. I mean, the only thing I sort of like, I've used this bar stool in my life. I have used this one before. I, I'll say that. It's been a hot minute because we've gotten a lot of cute bar stools over the years, but I've used this one before. And this one too. Okay. Okay. I can't lie. There is something good. Actually, two good things in here. The rest of this stuff, never used it in my life. These chairs can work for wedding venues. I'll say that. Sure, sure. I've never touched them. This is literally the first time I looked at them. <laughs> it's a glowing cube. Isn't it so wonderful? In red, it looks really scary. I can't lie. that That's terrifying. Those chairs are cute. Yeah. No. Okay. I lied. There is cute stuff. These tables are helpful for weddings with like the chocolate fountain or, or whatever comes out of that. I don't know. 
I guess this could be a thing that could be cute, potentially. This bar is also glowing, which I just really dislike. But it could be cool for like certain things. If you do like a neon bowling alley or something, I could really see this be cool, but I've never used it. Katie, my love, how's it going? You do like the chairs? Yeah, they're actually kind of cute. Like for an old stuff pack, I feel like the details on this are pretty good. I can't lie. You really like the bench. In all honesty, out of all the benches that we have, I do believe that I use this one the most. So only like two of the swatches, maybe three. But I'll, I'll give it that. That's a good bench. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. If you have the wedding pack, do you really need this pack? No, that's true. That's true. This is better than the, but is this better than the wedding pack? Well, build by wise, I'd say no. Gameplay wise, <laughs> I mean, probably. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have the wedding pack, but I'm tempted to get for Tartosa. Tartosa is so pretty. I wouldn't recommend getting a pack just for the world, but also I've done it before, you know? That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> um, Andy, welcome in, how is it going? We're building with luxury party today. I'm kidding, we're not. We we aren't. Um, we really aren't. But also, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Thank you. If you do happen to get the Tartosa pack, there's my code. <laughs> Happy Bean Friday! Oh, thank you. I really appreciate it, Simi Mom. I'm so excited. Looks like a garage sale. <laughs> Why are you not wrong? Dang it. Unfortunately, EA just owns me. I think I need to take a step back and reevaluate what packs and kits and expansion packs I need going forward. That is not a bad idea. Because that stuff is expensive. It's expensive. Marketing. <laughs> um, I'll have a I'll, I'll have a bean. It's it's snack time, I guess. If Simmy Mom says so, you know. No, not the orange ones again. I swear to God, all it ever gives me is the orange ones, and it's just not fair. I want another one. Butterfly, thank you for the lurk. It is good to see you. Um, barf. <laughs> Not again. Oh, this is, this is a green one. I never have the green ones. So this is either going to be booger or juicy pear. Or if you're really lucky, juicy booger. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, that's booger. Yeah. Oh God. Mm. That did not take long for it to hit me. Oh my god. <laughs> That's gross. Um, Stein, welcome in. I'm bike and it's very <laughs> careful. Don't chat and bike, okay? You gotta be careful, Stein. It is really windy. Oh god. It wasn't me this time. No, it wasn't. Don't pretend you don't. <laughs> oh, I really hate this so much. Ew, that is gross. Your phone is attached to the bike. Okay, that's good. That's good. I think otherwise you could get fined, right? You're not allowed to hold your phone in your hand while on the bike. Um, oh God. I'm just trying to eat this booger, this booger bean. Um, this is the lot where I want to try to build a cute fixer upper. I need this this stuff out of my face. Mmm. You go through fields, right? Right. 
I always wonder how those beans are made. Like, they all sat around a conference room and agreed, yes, this is a booger. How? I have the same question. I really, really wonder how this happened. Back to work, so you two hours of our lunch. Yes, Katie, I love you so much. Thank you for dropping by. I really appreciate it. Ugh. And she's down. Okay, so I picked this lot because it's nice and secluded for Hazel. Hazel loves the outdoors. She mastered the fishing aspiration. She is now in the outdoor adventure, whatever it's called, the camping aspiration. So she loves going camping. She loves being outside. Thank you for the self-care package. I'll have a sip of my tea. Mm -mm -mm. Rachel Pippa, welcome in. How is it going? I'll sit up straight and I'll do a stretchy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's what my uncle at the Jelly Bean Factory says. <laughs> they make a list of gross things to eat and make beans out of it. But what if that is your job? Is to taste the gross stuff? Like, they're like, what's the taste of dish water? And they'll... they'll they'll make you drink a cup of dishwater in order to like get the flavor right that's the only way to do it right um and thank you for the show me your socks yes i will show you my socks cozy with ruby welcome in how is it going um what was i gonna say right so it's nice and secluded hazel loves the outdoors thank you for that wiggle jane is more of a she is also starting to become an outdoorsy person. She loves jewelry making, but she doesn't want to be all the way like out in the middle of nowhere, you know? So this seemed like a good middle ground for that. Um, and she gets a little hobby room or shed where she can do her jewelry making. So that's really cute. Um, and we'll have space for gardening. And there is a little pond back here for fishing, which Hazel loves to do. Also, I'll show you my socks, yes. I'm wearing my sheep socks today. I forgot about that. I love these socks. Little sheep with really big eyes. Comfy socks, I love them. What if there's actual dishwater in the bean? Ew, Stein, don't say stuff like that. <laughs> what if there is an actual stink bug in the stink bug bean? <laughs> we can't have it. We know my son knows, but yeah, maybe your son is the one that was secretly in the conference room at the Jelly Bean Factory. I think that's what happened. Do you think you'll design your own original challenge? Um, I love your selfies, thank you. My own original challenge as in like a gameplay challenge or a build challenge? I've actually been thinking about that because I watched the Licorice's videos and she started like a tiny home community challenge, which is so cute. I'm like, I kind of want to do something similar. Like start, like try to think of a fun challenge. You watched her video yesterday, yeah? It's so fun. I'm anxiously waiting for the second episode. Maybe it's already out. I don't think so. Maybe it is. Um, but yeah, it's actually a good question because I kind of want to. Um, Froilink, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for that gift sub to Learning Simlish. I really appreciate that. That is so incredibly generous of you. Thank you so much, my love. Happy Friday. Oh my goodness, it is so good to see you. <gasps> Learning Simlish, I hope you enjoy your emotes and your ad-free viewing. That is so generous of you. You're playing the Deligacy one, it's so fun. I can only imagine. Oh my god, I kind of want to play it too. Um, uh, I'm not here to stream, but have love the uh, Pasio. Oh my goodness, uh, Lizzie, welcome in. You always come to watch now. That makes me so happy. Welcome in. I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. How are you doing today? If you could invent a gross and good bean, what would your flavors be? Oh my god, that is such a good question. 
Um, maybe I would do a... I always really love the cola flavored candy. And I don't think there's a bean that's cola or like Coke flavored. So maybe I'd do that. And then for the bad one, mint chocolate. <laughs> that would be my worst nightmare. <laughs> So I actually really like the grass flavored ones. Really? That is interesting. I know that like some of the bad flavors are just good and the other way around. There is like a banana flavored one and I'm just like, I hate that. <laughs> but it's supposed to be good. Controversial. <laughs> I would do, I would make a green one. And then for the good flavor, I do broccoli. And for the bad flavor, I do chocolate, mint chocolate. <laughs> That's what I do. Um, broccoli bean, yeah, it's good. I love broccoli. My good one would be cherry ice cream. The bad one would be sauerkraut pineapple. Ooh, I can get behind that. Can't wait to reach the cold pack generations uh, in your series. Same, I'm kind of nervous about that because I'm really not good at occults and obviously we're gonna have to at some point. So it's actually kind of exciting. Absolutely hate artificial banana, right? I love regular banana, like just a banana is good, but artificial banana, no thank you. I haven't built anything, by the way. So um, I was looking on Pinterest and for like what kind of house I wanted to do. And I found this, which I don't need this because <laughs> it's like this, the simplest, easiest house shape ever. But I saw this and I was like, that's good because it's simple and it's kind of spacious. Because one thing I, tend to do is like I tend to make houses too small and then I want to actually play in them and it's like too small so I feel like this shape is simple so I can keep it simple and cheap there's no weird nooks you know to it so that's kind of what I want to follow along um PMA thank you so much for the follow welcome in this is perfect right and maybe I want to add some things to it to make it look a little bit cuter. You know what I mean? But I like the two story and the big like front porch. I think that's really cute. And it looks like something we could floor plan pretty easily, have it be simple so that we can keep the cost down, which is very important for this one. I don't have a set budget, but um, I just kind of want to keep the cost down as much as I can. Um, that's cute, right? I thought so too. And it kind of already looks old, so we're, we can easily turn it into a fixer-upper. If you had to choose an occult, which one would you choose? If I could only keep one... Mm, I think I would keep the spellcasters. Not that I ever play with them, but that goes for all the, the occults, so that doesn't really matter. I think I want to do it the other way around. I think I want to have the house go this way and then the porch the other way. So mirror it, if you will. I like the spellcasters, I think. Um, you love the vampire objects? Yeah, same. That would be a shame to not have those anymore, to not have access to it. Um. And then we could do this. It's pretty big. It's gonna be not the smallest house ever, but that's good. Cause like I said, I always tend to make these places a little too small. Mm. And then it has a porch. Oh yeah, that works. OK, 
Okay, maybe this is a little too big though. Actually, no, because now we can like split it down the middle. That's good. Um, Squirrel Mom, happy Friday. How is it going? It is so good to see you. But yeah, do we have any fun plans for the weekend? Artificial banana flavor is a flavor of banana that is extinct. All bananas we eat now is a clone of the other bananas that now, that now, really? That is so interesting to me. Cause I always wonder why that is with banana that like the flavor, it's not, it doesn't taste like banana at all. Whereas artificial strawberry, let's say, you can kind of tell that it's supposed to be strawberry. You know what I mean? It's not perfect, but it kind of does taste like strawberry. Whereas with banana, it's like not, not banana-y at all. <laughs> I need to pick up a kid from school, be back later. Yes, of course, alas, of course. Um, and Lemon, I'll, um, thank you so much for letting us know. I'll see you, I'll see you later. Think you have more to, more to do with spellcasters. Can't wait for fairies to come someday. You know what? I, even I would be excited about that. Ooh, these are actually pretty cheap. Okay, so I'm really gonna try to keep an eye on the cost for this one. And these beams are only 25, which is pretty perfect. Okay, I'm either gonna have to make this one smaller or one- I'm a fancy sir. Oh my God. <laughs> Fancy man. Hi, sir. How is it going? Are you, are you coming home? Ooh, we could do this. That's kind of cute. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Um, and then what I like about this house is that it looks to have a little chimney going up this way. It's gonna be a little farmhouse, which I'm not mad about. I think that's kind of cute. Turn on my PC. Okay. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> I planned to sleep because I had a few nights without it. Oh, my little one was sick. Is what uh, is way better now. For Link, I'm happy to hear that. And yes, please go get some sleep over the weekend. Just um, horse work planned planned for the weekend. Oh. May or may not have ordered a plum bob headband. That sounds really cute. Gonna go look at couches, Andy, <gasps> for your new house. So what style are you gonna do? Um, what kind of couch is it gonna be? Like, do you have anything in mind or is it just like whatever, whatever sparks joy at the moment? Um, Honestly, I should try to not do too much more to it. Obviously, we want to do something to the back. So. Do I want to do the same thing here? Is that boring? That's kind of nice. It actually is kind of nice. Maybe I can build it out a little bit this way. The porch that is. And we of course need a shed for, ooh, that is a big porch, but I'm not mad about it. That's kind of cute actually. We need a little jewelry making shed, which could either be attached to the house or it could be apart from the house. Okay, this house is not too big. Like we can, we can do something with this. And since it's a fixer upper, we don't actually have to like decorate all the rooms. You know what I mean? We could just like leave a couple of rooms empty with some random boxes in it. That could work. 
I have a couch picked out, but I want to go put my butt in <laughs> first before I buy it. Yeah, smart. That's really smart, actually. Um, the good old butt test. Yeah, exactly. Is it just me? I always build houses too small or too big. Same. Hitting the perfect middle ground seems impossible. I'm the same for Link. And when I try, when I build something for Let's Plays that I actually actively play, I just really tend to make things too small. So today I want to try to put a stop to that. <laughs> that sounds very dramatic, but like, I want to try and make it big enough. For all the activities, it's important. And I want to have at least three bedrooms in it too. Um, so the second floor is not too big, but we could do two bedrooms and a bathroom upstairs. I'm hearing things. And a bedroom and a bathroom downstairs, maybe. What are we eating? Yeah, sir. I'm so sorry. I don't know. <laughs> this morning, Friday is always the struggle for us when it comes to dinner. We never know what to have for dinner. And this morning I told Sarah, it's like, okay, we got to start thinking of what we want for dinner now so that we know and we, it's not such a struggle, but I did not think of anything. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I did not do it. Um, okay. So if we were to make this the front porch and put the front door in right here, which I'm not against. I could do, I could do the werewolf's door. I mean, if we're going fixer upper, might as well, right? Don't mind these colors that I'm using, by the way, this is not, well, actually, I kind of like that dark wood. That's not bad. It's brunch time here. Oh, lovely. Floop sweatshirt is so cozy. I'm going to get another one. Definitely. Olive, I'm so happy that you like it. And I need to see a picture. I want, I want a pink one. That makes this difficult. I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. Are you planning on getting or going to the store right now? Cozy sweatshirts are the best sweatshirts, literally. They're literally the only thing I ever wear. Um, I'm already lost on what to do with a floor plan for this. So are we going to make a hallway space? I don't think so. We could also say that we enter into the kitchen, have the front door going into the kitchen or we create a hallway. I'm not against hallway. I, I love my hallways. He's at the store right now. <laughs> Sir, what are you doing to me? Quick, what are we having for dinner, friends? <laughs> we need ideas. What are we having for dinner? We still have some little, some green beans. Not sure what to do with that, but we have them. So I don't know. <laughs> Pasta or pizza? Under pressure. Dun, 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 dun. Castorina, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. I mean, I'm not against pizza because it was pie day yesterday. Pie, pie stands for pizza. <laughs> you know what I mean? Veggie pizza. We could do homemade pizza, but then it would be Sir making the pizza and I wouldn't be helping. And I'm not sure if he wants to do that. Green beans with chicken and rice or potatoes. That sounds good. We have some green beans. <laughs> hey, listen. Listen. 
I could also do the front door here. At least I'm trying, okay? Okay. I'm trying. This helps me. Because now I can do a room here. A bathroom here. Oh, this is good! We could extend the hallway a little bit. have a kitchen that's gonna be pretty small over here and then a living room I just figured it out I figured it out that's amazing that's kind of fun actually I like it okay Sorry, sir. I'm a little bit distracted. Just a little bit. The sta- Dang it. <laughs> we'll put the stairs in the living room. That's no problem. That's no no big deal. Um, and I'll put a an archway in. A chipo cheap archway. Or this one. That one into the kitchen, too. Like that. I don't know if we'll keep it that way, but for now it's fine. Um, hi, what kind of build are you doing? Welcome in! We're doing a uh, little fixer-upper, I guess, um, farmhouse kind of thing. It's for a Let's Play that I'm doing, so I really have to try to keep the cost down, but I also want there to be enough space in the house, you know what I mean? And I wanna keep it simple. Also, I'm not against doing a little bump out this way. Not sure how that's gonna help us. Um, maybe I could extend the kitchen like this. That's kinda cute, actually. I could try to, oops. Copy that. It's cute so far. Thank you. I'm so glad you like it. I'm not a big fan of how that looks, but we can cover that up with like a tree. Listen, it's going to be fun. We can use lots of trees and this way we'll have a little bit of something going on over there, which is also fun, I feel. Um, just to be clear, wait, sorry, sir. If we go pizza, we go, we order pizza, just to be clear. Oh, yeah, I mean, I'm not against it. I'm ordering pizza for sure. Okay. <laughs> what are you in the mood for? <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm not a good helper today. I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, enlarge the lavender and everything will be over. Exactly. Yes. The stairs could go in the bump out. Yes. Then we would have to extend the bump out to the second floor. Which I'm not technically against. Because it does add a little bit of something. I'd have to do a little tricky trick with the roof like this. Ooh, no, I don't like that. Oh, no, that's not the vibe. Mm -mm. Mm. You know, it'd be cuter if, if it would go like this, but that's annoying for the, like, what is that? What is that? We could turn it into a bathroom, but we already have one. We have one down, we have one there. You know what I mean? So. I mean, we could get rid of that. 
bathroom. Okay, let me just figure out how I like the look of this. I think I want to move the house a little bit. Over to this side. So I could make it potentially a bit wider. I think that makes more sense. Go like that. It could be a cute hobby room of sorts. That's actually pretty cute. Could be a little writer's office. Exactly, because Hazel is in the writing career, so we could do a little office there. And maybe we could even do like the gemmologist table in there. Even though I kind of want there to be a separate little shed for that, maybe. Where will the gem room be? Yeah, we could, that could be that. Small hobby room. I think that would actually be kind of cute. We are the same brain. <laughs> yes. Literally. Okay, that's not bad. But listen. What if I did a little bump out, like a tiny one like that? Not sure if that's cute. Not sure what we're gonna do with that. A little dormer, it's not bad. Honestly, it adds something. Or no dormer. Oh God. <laughs> I'm so indecisive. This is where I make my mistakes and make the houses too detailed and too expensive, you know? Um, okay, maybe. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. A window with a seat for reading. Oh, that is so cute. Maybe use the werewolf sighting, the old looking ones. That's what I was thinking of doing. Uh, gotta go, I'm going on a walk with my sister. Yes, of course, Tara, thank you for being here. And enjoy your walk, my love. Yeah, I think so too, Nick. I think I should just keep it like this. It's simple, it's effective, it's all we need for right now. I'm so tempted to add like more bump outs out front. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. We're gonna use the werewolf's siding or is it the horse ranch one that I'm thinking of? No, I think it's werewolves. Yeah, yeah, this one. Oh, yes. And I believe this comes in white. The house I'm looking at is white. It has white siding. And I think that could be kind of fun. <clears throat> I do want to maybe... We could have this bump out be a different either a different color or maybe just like a different texture overall. We could also make the house green. Or blue. Ah, oh, maybe blue. Ah! Oh, just what I pictured. I love it. <laughs> Thank you for that scare, Raven, by the way. <laughs> Maybe some stone. Yeah, let's do some stone. Okay, no, we're going back to white. Even though I love the blue. We're doing white because I like it. And then we can combine it with some stone. Some horse ranch stone or some brick, maybe. Ooh. We could do some brick from the chicken pack. Chicken brick. Chicken brick, maybe? Um, 
Injured, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. How is it going? Okay, maybe not the chicken brick. It needs to be darker in color. Oh god, wrong button. <laughs> Mm -mm, that's not it. I could just do the werewolf's brick, honestly. It does look good with it, but... It's more... F it's too factory-ish, almost. Brick from vampires? Ooh, I could, I could check that. Let me check that. Uh. Ooh, that is pretty. It comes in good colors, too. But it needs to be a little darker still. I mean, I could do gray. And then I will do blue, maybe, for the siding. Because that is cute, you know what I mean? The light blue and then the gray is really cute. I'm not sure if I want this bump out. Maybe I want it like this. We'll do this bump out brick and the chimney. That's kind of fun. Isabella, welcome in! It's actually me this time! How is it going, my love? It is so good to see you. You like just a side, yeah, like this, right? And then we could do the brick for that little side bit there. Huh, oh my god, that scared me. <laughs> That's Sarah coming home. Hi, baby. Hi, Fluffy. How's it going? Hi. Hello. Hello. She's allowed outside if she wants to. I don't think she wants to though. Hi. Are you hiding under the desk now? Um, you love Brittleton Bay? Me too. I haven't built on these lots in, in a very long time. I did do a cute starter that go back there. <gasps> Maddie! Oh my goodness, welcome man. How is it going? Baby time, nine months. What do you want to call? Shemar, L -O -L, Shemar, love. <laughs> what do you want to call the Twitch baby? Maddie, it is so good to see you. Thank you so much for the nine months, my love. I really appreciate it. That is so hecking generous of you. It was going great until you didn't get scared when we tried to scare you. So sad. <laughs> I am so sorry. Oh, wait. That was Mr. Isabella. I was like, that username rings a bell, but I couldn't put my finger on it. Hi. Hi, baby. Are you here to say hello? Are you back in your old spot? That's so fun. That is so fun. And instead, you're feeding me beans. I am so excited about it, Isabella. Thank you. Truly. I cannot contain my excitement. I am so excited. I love beans. I, lo I love them. I love beans so much. <laughs> I I can't wait to eat the bean. <laughs> you are welcome. <laughs> Have you missed me? Yes. Yes, I yes. I have missed you terribly. <laughs> She's back in her old spot. Yeah. 
She hasn't been there in a little bit. Nope. And now she's in the way. But that's fine. Anything for Queen Floop. Hmm? I love you. Not very convincing. Oh. Acting 101. <laughs> I already had a booger bean, yeah. So this better be a good one. The bean bag owes me a good bean. Oh, it's a it's a red one. And that means I don't know what the good one is, because I ripped it off. It's either old bandage or something else. I think cherry. Pomegranate. Old bandage or pomegranate. Let's go. <laughs> oh, that's old bandage. What is an old bandage? Oh my God, it does taste like bandage. Ew, I've never had this one before. It tastes like what a bandage smells like. You know what I mean? Oh, this one's really bad. This one's way worse than the booger. The booger. Old bandage. <laughs> You're calling me an old bandage. Old bandage. Paw points, well spent. <laughs> How do you know what bandages taste like? No, it's like, you know what they smell like though? Put your nose in a package of bandages. That smell. That's what this tastes like. It's really bad. Bitch. Bad. What did you just call me? Bitch. <laughs> no. <laughs> I didn't say that. I know. <laughs> That's what I heard though. <laughs> I'd rather not put my nose in a packet of bitch. <laughs> you wouldn't? That's weird. <laughs> you don't sniff bandages on a daily basis? That's weird behavior. Ban the troll. <laughs> we have a troll in our midst, everyone. Ugh. Mm -mm -mm. Ugh, it's it's gone though. I got this. Mm. You have shaders on? Yes. <laughs> Definitely. I use a reshade for sure. Um, no, I didn't want that to be this color. I wanted it to be that color. Yes. That's what I wanted. Oh, that's so gross. I hate it with a passion. That's kind of cute. I like it. Oh, I forgot something. I forgot a little roof piece. There we go. I really can't look at the game without them. I'm the same. It's such a shame. I love reshade, but now I can't build without it anymore. <laughs> and that's not great. You know what I mean? Hi, baby. Where are you going? Are you gonna s sit in front of my screen so I can't see anything? I love it. I love it so much. Oh. <laughs> and we go back. You can sit here, my love. I can't, I can't see anything when you do that. I hate work. Oh, I'm so sorry, Simmy mom. Do you ever use mods or CC? <gasps> Yay. Um, I use CC, build CC from time to time. And when I do, I'll usually really focus on that CC and really build specifically with that CC to like test it out and try it. Um, but not usually. 
I do use some like CC for cast these days. Um, it's either a light brown or a black, isn't it? Should I do the... No, I'll do the light brown. It's kind of mismatched in a good way. I like it. Fully back, Mary, did you manage to figure it all out with the package? I actually have a dream job, but I still hate it. I mean, work is still work, you know what I mean? And sometimes you just don't want to be bothered. It's completely understandable. Even when you love your job, it can be annoying. Um, what sort of foundation? Maybe just this in the dark brown. Is there a dark brown? Not really. There's this, that's black. There's this, but that's not the right color. Ooh, I could use this one. Oh God, this one. Ooh, that's not bad actually. I kind of like that. Sure. Um, also, this is not going to be like a limited pack build or anything. It's just going to be me enjoying all the packs. <laughs> it's using whatever stuff is cheapest, you know what I mean? And matches what I'm going for vibe wise. Uh, thankfully they still had it, so I just unpacked all my mom. Oh, that is good. I'm happy to hear that. That's such a relief. Um, we have to figure out a placement for the stairs. I'm thinking of just plonking them here. Like so. Hmm. Well, then maybe like so. No, because then. Okay, this needs to go for a second. Floopy. I love you so much, Floopy. Are you just chilling with us? It is such a relief to like see her slowly go back to her old, just like regular behavior. Actually, maybe this is the best way to do it. And we'll do a little door into this room off of the kitchen. That actually works. Yeah, we could do that. Um. Though it's not ideal, can't lie. So we're eating pizza tonight. We're having pizza, we're having pizza. I feel like we deserve it, sir. Oh yeah, I feel the same. It way. has been a week. A week and a half, yo. Oh my God. <laughs> it's, been a, it's been a year. Anyway. It's been a year these past seven days, you <laughs> yeah. know what I mean? Shipping it actually can be tricky because they changed transport and I had no tracking or confirmation. That is so stressful. I hate it when that happens. I'm glad you were able to figure it all out. <gasps> See, this is good. Back to normal. Well, she runs for her food and then she's disappointed. So I've been holding off on giving her the tasty yeah, stuff today. I, I got her some tasty stuff this morning, so she had a pretty big breakfast, and now I'm just like waiting until she gets hungry enough to eat. Yeah, she's walking away from it. She's like, this is not my fancy tuna food. Excuse me, what am I, a peasant? <laughs> you should get used to it. Where the tuna, yeah, exactly. That's literally her right now. Should I open the door? Yeah, she can go, she can go out. I've been spoiling her too much. It's my fault, but also we needed to get food in her, you know? Go ahead. There she goes. See you in a little bit. Oh, she's looking. She's chilling. She's like, what is this place? <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, we could also do these round ones. That's kind of fun. Let's do that. They look old. She's gonna go catch her own tuna. I think so, yeah. <laughs> she has her little fishing rod and she's like, I'll see you later, suckers. If you won't feed me tuna, I'll go find myself some tuna. Um, that's cute. That works. Oh my. This is really coming together. I could even make this a little bigger, you know, and really decide that that's going to be Jane's little gemstone hobby room moment. I'm not against it, honestly. Um, this is unfortunate placement. I will say that one. But, I mean, I guess we could probably figure it out. We could do two small bedrooms over here. This house is big. <laughs> oh my god. We could do a bathroom like this. We could do two big bedrooms, but these rooms are really big. We could do one big one and two smaller ones, maybe? One office. Oh, that's actually perfect. So Jane has her gemstone hobby room and Hazel has her office for writing. Floop, your human parents aren't rich. <laughs> Tuna isn't good for you in the long term. Exactly. <laughs> Eat your kibble. I was very tempted to buy another can of tuna, but then I was like, no, just the one. And she didn't finish. Like I didn't give her all of it. Um, because I know that it's not like the best for her in the long term, like you said. So I was like, okay, I'll, I'll get, I'll give you some tuna so you can start eating again. So there's something in your belly. But that's it. <laughs> this actually is kind of fun. I'm okay with it not being perfect and like having a tiny landing. This room is really big. It's bigger than the bedroom downstairs. Oh, uh, wait, no, that's a lie. I mean, I can make the bathroom bigger. And then this can have like a closet or something. That's not a bad idea. <clears throat> Maddie, thank you for the save the game. I really appreciate it. Um, you're cute. Me? No, you. My cat Alfred always judges you <laughs> when he when he doesn't get the tasty food. His look is hurtful and grumpy, but cute. I love that name, Alfred. That is such a cute name for a cat. I love that so much. And Floop is kind of the same, so I'm kind of like waiting for her, like I said, to get hungry enough so she starts eating her normal food. Um. This is good. One small room, one slightly bigger one, and one office, one hall bathroom that is very spacious. And then we could have a closet here. I think this makes sense. That's okay. I really like the downstairs floor plan. That is really fun. Okay. Now for the windows. I would love to use some shutters and I don't want it to be too nice because I still want it to be a fixer upper. Alfred and Floop look like twins. Really? <gasps> Have you posted a photo of Alfred before in the discord? Give me more peasant. <laughs> yeah. 
I have to post a picture from the Discord. They could be siblings. I really want to see. That is so cute. Um, okay, so the picture I'm looking at has cute shutter, like, windows with shutters in front. Which, honestly, we could achieve with any window. Because we have those really cute shutters from Horse Ranch. So... That shouldn't be too much of an issue. But now I'm just not so sure what windows I want to use. Do we have, like, windows that look a little bit distressed? Of course we have the stuff that comes with werewolves, but I'm not sure if that's the vibe. I could also do base game. And add shutters to it. I would, I would like you all to know that I still can taste the bandage in my mouth. <laughs> Anna, welcome in. How is it going? You don't think it's the vibe? Dang it, Olive. Base game windows do look rough. <laughs> right? Not in the sense that I'm I like that we're, that we're looking for, but yes. <laughs> I feel like it's kind of the vibe though. There's also these, which honestly In the dark brown color, or there's, of course, these ones. They also come in that same color. Um, that could be kind of nice. Nice, right? I feel like they would need to go out a little bit because if I wanted to add shutters to it. Um, excuse me game, these guys. Oh, that's kind of fun. We can add them in this like white color. Is that, it's blue. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, I think I like that green. It doesn't match anything, which is good. Ooh, that's kind of fun. Uh, they have the shutters. Base Game University. These windows that I'm using also have a shutter version so I could just use those too I realize that but like okay I could use those too in brown is that better maybe now I'm not sure <laughs> Yeah, you're probably thinking, um... What the hell? These? <laughs> are you okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Just checking. Mm -hmm. These are cute too, by the way. Those are cute too. Okay, I think I want to go base game, but now I don't know which version. The shutter version, or do we add our own shutters? I don't know what to do. Um, I could size them up. You like the green shutters? Yeah, I think I do too. And then... What I could do is size them up a little bit because they look a little small and awkward. What if I did this? Yeah, exactly. Why are we the same brain? Oh God, is that too much? No, I think that's actually perfect. I think I did one 
point two. I could also do them just on one side. We have so many options here. I could just do this. That's weird. I like it on both sides. You got a haircut, didn't you, sir? I did. I didn't even see it. I'm over here. Well, you're wearing headphones. I can't see. <laughs> It's nice and short. Yeah. I like it. Did okay. you go back to your old haircut? A little bit, yeah. Yeah. But that was mostly because of I made an appointment. Right. And the dude that was going to cut me, I knew he was like, he's been an intern. And he's like, intern off for like two months now. So mm -hmm. I, was, I was like, let's keep it simple. That's like. You didn't trust him? No. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> Yours comes across a little bit unsure. Right. Oh, that's the worst. So, when your hairdresser comes across unsure. Yeah. Oh god. Yeah, that's not good. No. But my no. usual hairdresser, he was, uh, he was like fully booked for like the coming two weeks. Right. So I was like, hmm. So I was like, well, let's just keep it. Let's simple. keep it simple today. <laughs> let's do something that everyone else can do. Yeah. Um, come show us, sir. Hello. Fresh. Nice and short. And short. Nice and short, you see? Nice, short, and shiny. Nice and short. Ooh, we need some flowers. That is cute. I'm a fancy sir. I'm a fancy man. It's a fixer upper, but it can still be cute, you know what I mean? My hair? No. <laughs> No, the, the, the house. Oh. Wow, fresh. <laughs> Why did I say fresh? <laughs> well, it is fresh. You're not wrong. Wow, <laughs> fresh. Wow, fresh. Oh, wow, fresh. <laughs> wow, fresh. Oh, wow, fresh. fresh. Okay, the placement for these windows is really awkward because I probably want to repeat it in the back or maybe not ah! huh. oh my god because <laughs> we probably want a back door to the porch out here yeah that's cute tease welcome in how is it going it's good to see you mm. but maybe I want there's really cute doors. Ooh, I could also use this. In dark brown. I mean, honestly, Cats and Dogs has good swatches for what I'm going for today. I'm getting buzzed up. You're good? I'm happy to hear that tease. I'm doing good too. Thank you for um, asking. I really appreciate it. Um, or there is another door I'm thinking of and now I'm not sure what pack it comes with. I think it's laundry day. Oh yeah. Oh, that's not really the right colors though. No, okay, we'll use this one. That's fine. And then we can have a little door to the outside off of the kitchen. That's pretty nice. Can't lie. Um, and then we'll obviously need some windows here too. Mm. The placement is rough for these. For like the, cause I probably want to be able to center like a countertop with a window. So then I'd have to place it like that, which is not ideal for the upstairs. So uh, that's rough. If I were to do this, it'd be easier. 
But then that looks really weird. Oh God. I mean, I mean, it works. It's not ideal, but it works. But now the window situation in the back and the front are different. I don't think that matters though. I overthink that stuff, but I feel like it doesn't matter. Um, I think it might be time for me to go to the bathroom and then rearrange my office. I need a change for spring. Ooh, that sounds good though. Little spring cleanup. That sounds lovely. Oh, hi, I exist by the way. <laughs> Sorry, who are you? Mods, I think we have a troll in the chat. This person is saying weird stuff. Um, you still have your Christmas tree in there? Okay, Krem, you need to, <laughs> you need to rearrange your, rearrange your office. You're excused. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know who I am. Whoa, me, my love, how is it going? It is so good to see you. I hope you're doing good. Bot. <laughs> I mean, honestly, you scared me. I was another, I wasn't on another tab looking for a book. Ooh, what book are you looking for? Okay, that's cute though. Oh, I like it. This one is sad. It doesn't have any shutters. Maybe I should turn it into a small window. Ooh, like this, like this sort of a situation. That's cute. Or there is a cuter one where that came from. Um, this one. Oh, I thought we had a smaller version of that. Maybe not. There is a similar one in Cats and Dogs. Yeah. Yeah, that's cute. Hmm, yeah, that's cute. Okay. Loving this build. Thank you. It's for my pack legacy challenge. I can already tell you that I'm going overboard with decorations and that it's going to be too expensive. But also, let me live. You know what I mean? Maybe I shouldn't do any shutters on the windows that go on the side. I should do smaller ones here. Smaller base game windows. Or these. No. These. Yeah. E yummies. That's kind of nice. Oh my. Maybe over here. Yeah. And brown. Rip the hermit, but that new be <laughs> beefy hermit. <laughs> that guy scared me. <laughs> I expected like an old, cute old sim, like a little old man. <laughs> I was like, what the? <laughs> what is this sim? Um. Ooh, can I center that? Literally perfect, but not perfect enough. I could do that though. Yes. Oh, that's not bad. Or do I now want to use this window? Oh God. Instead of these. I think I do. Hmm. Oh, I think I do. Yeah. Um, Jackie Rose, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. Love them work for their decoration. Oh, definitely. Yes. I'm thinking of like 
only furnishing like their bedroom and then maybe I'll put like a sad desk in the office and we'll leave the other rooms like empty. We'll just put some boxes and like make it look like people just moved in. Um, and we'll do a really old kitchen, stuff like that. Like that's kind of the vibe I want to go for, for this one. Um, then we obviously need some windows here too. Uh, enough windows that have shutters on both sides. <laughs> I mean, windows are a little bit expensive though. How expensive are these base game windows? I'm probably making a huge mistake. Oh, they're only 35. It's fine. Um, pay break time. Yes, of course, Graham. It could be off the grid, maybe. No lights, but candles instead. Ooh. Um, a lot of windows have shutters on both. Yeah. I mean, I know this doesn't really make sense, but I like how it looks. <laughs> I like how it looks. Do we need another window? Um, maybe not. Maybe I could do some over here. I mean, obviously they deserve a window in the bedroom. <laughs> that would be kind of rude. Ooh, we could even do a door off to the garden. Um. Oh, that's cute. I like that. And you know what? This one gets two shutters too. And I'll tool them. They sparkle in the sunlight. <laughs> no bedroom windows. They're now vampires. <laughs> this is the skin of a killer. I need this to be perfect, but it's difficult. Ugh, there we go. Um. Yes, this is good. I'll be right back. Yes, of course, Karam. <laughs> go pee. Put four <laughs> more shutters on one each side. <laughs> They'll do the trick. You can pick and choose your shutters. And we need a little window in the bathroom too, I feel. That would be nice of me to do that. Do I give them... Maybe I will give them a door here. I feel like that's kind of fun. The layout for this bedroom is going to drive me crazy with the window placement like this. Oh, actually, it's fine. No, that works. Okay, perfect. Yes. Saving. See, this is what, what you get when you create a shape that's not too complicated and weird. Stuff actually ends up making sense, and it's really nice. Do I want this? There. Nah, that's too repetitive. I'll do some vines there. Some debug ones, otherwise it'll be too expensive. I like that the sun is shining, but it's right in my face. That The sun will do that sometimes. It really will. Mmm, you know what'd be cute? If I could put in some tall windows, but I also really want like a window out front there. So maybe this is better. 
and we won't do one in the back, but then I'll cover up that weird corner with a tree. That's fine. I could also get rid of that one, maybe. That makes a little bit more sense. Though, we need something here for sure. Like that. Yes. Yes. Every weird corner gets a tree. It's gonna be fun. Uh, yes, of course, Learning Simlish. Thank you for being here. Um, my desk is right next to the balcony door and the balcony is facing a south right. So um, when the sun goes under, it's always directly in my face. I can't see much. Yeah. That's a struggle, but also I I get the struggle because you kind you kind of want to just like soak up the sun and enjoy it, but also you can't see. <laughs> it's unfortunate. Ooh, okay. Gotta keep in mind that I need to keep it fixer upper vibes a little bit. Um. But we're doing all right so far. I want to add some decorations to the roof, though. Like some of these things. But they're like 30. Why are these things 30 simoleons? I'm sorry. That's just rude. They'll get two. You get two. No more than two. There's Floop. She's coming back. I could hear the cat door, I think. Okay, yeah. cheap fence. I mean... Ooh, no, that's too tall. Hi, Floopy. I could do this, but... <laughs> oh no, do I want to? Could also do... Ew. Could also do that. Phoenix, thank you for the lurk and the wiggle. It is so good to see you. I wish we had dead flower boxes. That would be so cool. Oh, I want to get a fixer upper kit. Oh, how cool would that be? Like with broken stuff in it that you can still use. Like shutters that are crooked in the hinges, if that makes sense. And, oh, that's the kind of stuff I want to see. Oh, that would be so cool. <laughs> A little, yeah, exactly. Dead flower boxes and stuff like that. And just, yeah, the rundown looking stuff is the best. I know, it makes me so happy. I've said this a million times before, but the rundown stuff just hits different. I don't know why. It's great fun. Like, I really want to add this, but that's just too cute. So I should stick with something more broken. This fence in itself is also kind of cool, but it's so tall. And it's messing with my shutter. I don't like that. I wish there was a two version of this. Like, get rid of the top one. Fix a rubber kit that your sims can actually rebuild. Like, the animation of the crib. Yes. No, listen. That would be perfect. That would literally be perfect. Oh my god, she is starting to get a little hungry. She probably looked around for some tuna, couldn't find any, and she was like, All right. Well, I'll, I guess I'll have my peasant food. I'll just get in there. Right? <laughs> Man. Now she's looking angry at me. Don't be mad at me. <laughs> There's enough food to go around. Yes, for you. Fine, I'll try it again. <laughs> I 
I take it back. I think the sun heard me complain. Stop. It's actually a little sunny here too. <laughs> this house is looking really cute. Thank you, Justin. You're so sweet. Is Flo better? Yeah, she's definitely feeling a lot better. Um, she's no longer on um, painkillers. And we now have to only give her the anti-nausea medication for like um, seven more days. That's just like a tiny little pill in the morning. Um, and, but she's doing so much better. Like she, behavior wise, she's back to her old self. She is just, her eating is not all the way back to normal, but she is definitely eating enough but I've spoiled her a bit too much. So now she won't have her regular food anymore. Um, but yes, she's doing really, really good. Excuse me, this doesn't have a matching stair railing. That's annoying as heck. I'm deleting those walls by the stairs, by the way, because that saves a bit of money. Well, no stair railing for them. I guess that's just what it's going to be. Yeah, she had pancreatitis. Um, Hazel and Jane could hire a home decorator to help them. Oh, that is so cute. Can you hire home decorators or... Yeah, no, I don't think you can only be the home decorator if your active sim is in that career. You know what I mean? but you can't actually hire one. I don't think. Okay, this is kind of cute. Can't lie. We need like a little chimney of sorts, I feel like up here. Mm. Ooh. <gasps> oh, that's cute. I never use this as a standalone chimney. I always plunk it in chimneys. That's kind of cute. And then this, we could use the same one for this one. Yeah, that's cute. That's why she wasn't eating. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so we have had a, we have had a week. <laughs> oh my God. It was so incredibly stressful. She was really sick from it, but she's doing so much better. Almost back to her old self. Um, thank you for that wiggle, by the way. My chimneys these days always black out. It's driving me nuts. <gasps> what you could try is to lead the wall inside and then like raise it up. Cause it might, it does that to me sometimes too. And then I just have to mess around with like the walls or the floors in there. I mean, not the walls. And then that usually fixes it at some point. But when you raise it up and it goes through a floor, I believe that's when it will sometimes black out for me. It does the same thing. Ew, I'm sorry, that's just annoying. Maybe it's glitching. I'm glad she's doing better. Yeah, thank you, me too. And learning so much, thank you for the lurk. Um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, 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 yes. This is going somewhere. Also, need to paint that ceiling. Paint that ceiling. Move that bus. <laughs> I'm thinking the exact same thing. That's good. Um, okay, and we already have a hobby room attached to the house. So that's nice. Am I gonna add a shed in the back? I don't really know what it would be for if I did that. 
I definitely want to do... I want to add some, like, broken down fences and stuff. I think we can find that in base game debug. That would be cute. What in this game isn't glitching these days? The Sims 4 is perfect. It has no glitches. Everything is by design. It's a perfect game. This stuff. Yes, yes, yes. This is what I need. Yeah, that's that's cool. Mm. Some of those. I'm just like plunking some some stuff down. Just plonking away. Um, do I want that there? No. No, I do not. I want this. Yes. And I think there's more broken fence stuff somewhere down here. Um, let the debug scrolling begin. Ooh, this is kind of cute too. Could put that in the back maybe. It is a perfect game, but I wish the devs cared as much as we do. That's, you put that perfectly. Literally. Oh yes, this stuff. Amazing. This is what I need. Absolutely beautiful. Um, okay, we obviously need a bunch of like debug landscaping too, but that fencing is kind of like the vibe that I was envisioning in my brain. Is there anything? Okay, I need to go for a little debug scroll in Cats and Dogs as well. Um, the core of the game is just so old. I don't know how much longer it can really, but that's, that's the main issue, right, though, I think. Uh, I think Woohooing isn't glitched, although my sim still manages to get pregnant when unfur- Really? That could just be the mod, right. That could just be the mod, yeah. So, I was wondering, I know that MC Command Center used to interfere with same-sex pregnancies. I thought that that was no longer an issue, but I think it is. Anyone know anything else, like, more about that? I think it still is, which, I mean, is not the end of the world. <laughs> I can just turn off or delete MC Command Center for a second. But I was wondering, because otherwise I'm just, like, going to keep trying, but... This is my favorite tree. I love this tree. I really want to put it like back here. That's definitely clipping. My cat is sitting on my neck. <laughs> I love everything about that. That is so cool. Is it comfortable for you? <laughs> Is it a nice neck warming moment? Okay, that's cute. Oh god, that tree's humongous. 
which is not a bad thing. Big trees are allowed to exist. Ooh, we're putting this here. That's nice. The cracks and scratches from vampires would be cool, but they cost too. Yeah, there's also really cute scratches in full red. I'm not actually sure if those cost anything. I'll have to check that too. Um. Ooh, this same fence is in here, but only the not broken version, I think. Rocks. I feel like these work nicely. Like that. Yes, that's cool. Um, I could also create a pond. Ooh, this is cool. Is this cool? I think this is cool. I could plunk that on the side here. Or... In the corner? I don't know. <laughs> I'm indecisive today. No, I like it here, I think. That's kind of fun. It's cool, right? That's a nice boulder. <laughs> Hi, Joanna. Welcome in, my love. How is it going? They're mowing the grass outside my office. Cue all the tears and snot from my face. Don't look at me. Oh. Yay, allergy season. So exciting. We love to see it. I'm so sorry, Andy. That really, really sucks. This is a really beautiful tree, but also the color is different from everything else. It's not too big of a problem. I could just do plunk it in the corner. Plunk it in the corner. Sure, sure. I'll add more fence Joanna to it. Is in banana. That is correct. In case you didn't know, not know this, Joanna is is a banana. Where is this law? I don't recognize it. It's in Brindleton Bay in the far back. There's like two of those little secluded 30 by 20 lots. That's where this is located. Um, I gotta go pee. <laughs> She's so light, it doesn't hurt that much, but it's in a weird position. Has your cat ever done that before? Or is this like a, a new thing she's trying out? <laughs> Oh my god. This is literally the most humongous tree ever. I want to use it though. That's cool. Don't disappear on me. Excuse me. Um, Evie-ish, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. How is it going? Uh, I think I'll plonk this here. And then I'll do some more broken pieces. Mm. Okay, let me go back to base game debug for my broken fence. Not banana flavor, actual banana. Yeah, exactly. It's so pretty, I'll have to build here soon. It is a really pretty area. I haven't built here in a very long time. But I really, really like this area. Mm. This is what I'm looking for. The broken fence. Mm. 
Maybe like that? Yes. Perfect. Literally perfect. Thank you. Oh. What is gravity? We don't need her. That's actually cute. That is so, <laughs> so random. I love it though. I'm gonna order the pizza. You're gonna order pizza? Yeah. Oh, that's exciting. Where are we ordering from? Um, you tell me. Are we ordering from the same place as last time? I mean... I did like them. I did like the pizza. I like them too. Yeah. I'm okay with it. Oh, we could create a little fake field of crops back here. Oh, that's fun. Oh, yes. That's what we're doing. I love it. And then we can add... Maybe this to it as a little entry. I don't know. It's cute. I want to use that thing. I want to find an excuse to use this thing. Fixer upper. Ooh. What is the Dutch word for fixer upper? Oh, it would be a opknopper. An opknopper. Fake field. Pizza? What pizza would you like? <laughs> Big fat phony. What did you just call me, Olive? <laughs> what did you just call me? That word sounds like fixer. Sounds like a fixer upper. Up knopper. There we go. What pizza would you like? Um. My contacts are really dry. What pizza would I like? Mm hmm You want me to like- Give me some options. Me some options. Yeah, All that'd right. be lovely. I would love that. Right. That would be phenomenal and fantastic. So we're starting off with one question. You want sure. meat, you want with fish, or do you want vegan? Fish on a pizza? Yeah. No. Uh, that so is. What do you want? <laughs> that's disgusting. I feel like fish is not it. So what no. is it? No. Um, I'd like some. Oh! Uh, <laughs> you know what? Maybe some chicken. Damn. I never go for chicken uh, on a pizza. Maybe today is the uh, day damn. where I want to go for chicken. Um. So. Perhaps I got for you. Polo speciale. El pollo speciale. <laughs> okay, you clear. Want polo could, speciale? could you clarify? Polo <laughs> speciale. Special polo. What is speciale about the polo? That it's a polo. <laughs> and it's speciale. Mm. I, can, I can only read it in Dutch. That's fine. I I speak Dutch. Because I don't know how to say herding tree pits. <laughs> <laughs> like, what's the actual English word for this? Uh, pine bone pits. Uh, let me look that up. Herding tree pits. Herding tree pits. <laughs> herding tree seeds. <laughs> pine nut. Pine nut. Bother. <laughs> All right, so uh, chicken to... black olive. Ooh, sad thing is I don't like olives. Oh. I like olive because she'll be all mad. I lo I love olive. I don't like olives, <laughs> plural. For you, I have tomato sauce, mozzarella, chicken pesto, Ooh. chicken ricola, and pine nuts. That sounds good. We can, if you want to, I can like add some greenery to it. Like yeah, some, I would like some extra some champions. Some extra greens to that, please. You want some champions? I love that. Some paprika? Yes. That's it? Or... I don't know. You just say just things and I just finish, say yes. Finish? Sure. Alright. It all costs extra, you know? 
Oh, well, <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> Maybe you want these three things? Give me all That's the okay. toppings. All right. No, I would like... Um, I don't need any champions on that. All right. The other two are fine. All right. Thank you for the save the game, Lemon. I really need to. Salmon on pizza is really good. I've never actually had that. But actually, salmon on pizza does not sound bad. Salmon in general is just great, you know? It's just a good time. Mm. I need myself some of these bushes. That sounds fantastic, yeah. I need to line this house with some with some greenery. I'm just <laughs> kind of going all over the place with uh, the landscaping for this one. But I feel like that's fine. Just adding the things I see that I like. I usually got tomatoes and black olives, spinach. I wish I liked olives, honestly, because they smell good and they look good. It's just, and then I try to eat them and I'm like, yeah, then it's just not them, it, man. I'm starting to eat them. I eat them and then I eat them. You trying to eat them, but then you eat them. Yeah, I don't like them. That's what you do. I don't like them. So what time should I like? Like 18, 15. You can stop saying you like me, I get it. I love you, Olive. Stop. I haven't met an olive I don't like. <laughs> Pizza with mint chocolate for the win. For like, what is this? This is a criminal offense. What the hell? <laughs> Six o'clock? Um, a little bit later, maybe? Yeah, that was what I'm thinking, but they're never on time. Like, I've never had any order from any place on time. That's, That's what I'm true. That's true. I can, I can do like 15 minutes later. Yeah, do like 6.15 yeah. would be good. Do right. I don't want to be yeeted away from my game when I don't want to, you know? No. I shouldn't say the M word. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? Italian beef? You have and a spinach. Problem. Italian beef. <laughs> Are you looking for a problem? You're having some Italian beef with me, you know? That's a joke. All right, I can explain it right here, right now. It was me with an Stop! Italian accent. You're trying so to weird. Make a problem Go out away. Of it. Beef Go. is another word for problems. Go away. You're so weird. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mario. <laughs> Mario, come. <laughs> um, a mix of honey and chicken. Um, oh, that sounds really good. That sounds, that actually sounds really, really actually good. Actually a good idea to like drizzle a bit of honey. Yeah. It comes in. You know what? We're going to try that. Drizzle them honeys. Drizzle the honey on the chimkin. Chimkin. Oh yes, chimkin. That sounds really good. Mm, chimkin. Chimkin. I'm trying to make this look all cute, but I really shouldn't. I need to make it look messy. We need a bunch of... Messy landscaping. Mm. Like this. Yeah, yeah, that's good. I like that. And we need a, we also need like a little pathway of sorts. Mm. But also just more plants and more grass, I feel. Do you guys have all dressed pizza? Um, 
I'm not familiar with the term, so maybe not, but maybe. <laughs> what is it? What is it? I'll tool that one. It means that the pizza is fake. <laughs> it means it's dressed up for a night out. Is that what it is? Like formally? <laughs> exactly. All dress comes from pizza, my American mom. <laughs> What's all dressed? Yeah, what what is it wearing? All dressed? Intriguing. Like a deluxe pizza? Supreme? But like, does it mean you get everything? You get chicken and ham and salmon and tuna and olives and spinach and all the, like, what does it entail to be all dressed? I have so many questions. <laughs> Oh, that's cute. We need some flowers here. Some of this and some of this. Yes. I think I want to do pink flowers. That's cute. With a dress suit? Yeah, exactly. I'm assuming from the way it sounds, all dressed is everything on it. Right. Supreme. Yeah. Right. Work is done and I am firing up Sims 2 to see if I can recreate this home before the baby wakes up. So, you know, that sounds so fun. I feel like it should be doable. The shape is not too complicated. I feel like this is doable in The Sims 2. I mean, you have all the skills. So if anyone could do it, it's you, my Sims 2 queen. Mm. Yes, all the grass. Really nice. Well, it's not like nice, nice. It's a little messy, but that's exactly what we need it to be. I need to do some more landscaping back here. Maybe I could use this one. I love this bush. It's so cool. love it and i think in the gameplay for this one in the legacy challenge or the pack legacy challenge that i'm doing i think i also just kind of over time want to like change the house a little bit that could be a fun little aspect to add into the into the gameplay where we just clean up the landscaping a little bit you know I love bush. <laughs> Just kidding, it means we dress up for pizza in black because they're about to be eaten. <laughs> right. That's what I thought, yeah. That makes sense. Um, yes, cool, cool. Okay, more landscaping to be done back here. Ooh, I could add that. That's fun. Yes. And since we don't have stair railings, I could add this maybe. There we go. Oh, my favorite tree. Can I put this somewhere, please? Hmm. I love it, but also it's in the way of screenshots. We could definitely get rid of like some trees over time. No, this is just too messy now. If anything, I should add it here and make it a little smaller. <gasps> I like how that looks. Plunk. <laughs> In France, you can find pizza with 
99 cheese taste? <laughs> oh my god. Are you making fun of me? <laughs> 99! You can find me 99! I didn't say it like that! 1999! First you said it wrong, you're like. Oh, Guys, I'm being bullied. There's a bully in my house. Please save me from the bully. I need bully saving. This bully sounds like a cool dude. He doesn't. He does. <laughs> he sounds very cool. No, he doesn't. He does. No! Uh, sounds like the man. He's not. Oh, a tree in front, maybe? That's kind of cool. <laughs> Thank you for that. I could do a really small tree and put it here. That's cute. Or should I put it here? Um, Vanessa, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. How is it going? It's been two hours and I haven't gone to use the bathroom. Maybe I need to go pee. I think I do. I've got to go pee. Mm. I need something there too, out front. That also needs something. Maybe I need another tree, like a tall tree, but size it down. This one. Oh, that's not even bad. I kind of like it. Nope. I don't. If anything, it needs to go there. B. Will I ever build B. a house and not B. use this tree? B. 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 I don't think it can be done. B. 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 I don't like it. B. B. I gotta go pee. You know what we need? Vines. We need vines. The cottage living vines. Also, let's save, by the way. Thank you, Gina, for the for the go pee. I promise I will. I just want to scroll through the vines a little bit. Positivity, welcome in. How is it going? Meep, meep, meep. Meep, meep, meep. I want to use the free ones. Because I'm spending too much money on this house. Remember when I said it was going to be cheap? Well, I'm failing miserably. How much is it? 16. Oh, okay. It's not that bad. Um, Stuve, thank you so much for the wiggle. Gotta go to work in 20 minutes. I don't wanna. Oh, Kayla, I'm sorry. I wish we could make it so that you didn't have to go. I hope time goes fast for you today at work. I don't understand the word cheap. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean cheap? What does that mean? I don't get it. Oh! Yes! This is good. Look at that. Some beautiful vines growing up the house. It's really quite glorious. Mm. I really want to use these, but... 
Well, I don't mind them clipping, but I do mind this. You know what I mean? Maybe they need to go a bit lower. Um. Just doing, uh, I'm doing, like, just doing some Sims before uh, I do class later. Oh, that sounds so cozy. Are you building or are you doing some gameplay? Uh, hang it. So close. <laughs> it's still peeking through. Oh, that's not bad. Okay, we could keep this. It's not peeking through anymore. Okay, this is actually really cute. It looks really messy, which is good. That's what we like to see. Messy. Can I get away with putting this here? Or is that too much? I get carried away with these things so easily. Is that glitching or clipping, I mean? Oh, heck yeah, that's clipping like crazy. <laughs> Oopsie. Oopsie. This one's clipping. Okay, I'll get rid of that one. But now it's peeking through my roof again. Dang it. It's fine, it happens. It's growing into the house. It's cozy mold, it's fine. Just a little bit too much still. Oh, yes, that's what I needed. I don't mind that tiny brown spot. Like, you can't really see that. But now I need to cover this up. Hang on. I need to plonk a, I need to plonk a bush. Mm, or use grass? No, I need a bush for that. Ooh, some lavender. Yeah, sure. Or maybe that one. That one, that's pretty. Okay, and now I will save and go use the bathroom. <laughs> Lavender always is the answer. This is so true. Go <laughs> train. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, I will. Um, turning out pretty cute, though. You can't lie. Need a couple more vines. We'll do that when I get back. We'll do that when I come back. I can't stop. When I start with the vines, there is no way back. It's a little problematic. Um, here's Sloop for a couple of minutes and I will be right back. <laughs>
Oh my god, I was almost too late. I'm back. <laughs> Did it play? That was the second time, right? Or am I just really fast? Or am I really slow? I can't tell. Hi, Renee. Welcome in. Mm hmm. <laughs> Floop wanted snacks. So, of course, I gave in. You're so fast. Wow, thanks. Um, did you see there's this kit? Uh, the Backyard Stuff Pack. Yes, everyone. The Backyard Stuff Pack is free. So go ahead and download it. Hi, baby. Hi. Oh, the opening is right here, honey. Did you want to sit behind? Oh, yeah, that works too, I guess. A rundown masterpiece? <laughs> Stop. I'm glad you like it. Okay, I don't like how this vine is sitting. I'm sorry, I'm doing it over. Oh, what? But why so small? What happened? Um. There's this, oh. Also, it's clipping inside my house. Okay. There's multiple issues. As far as this vine's concerned. But I could size it down like this. And I guess that still works, technically. Sorry, I'm just vining. It's taking a little bit, but we're getting there. Hi, Floopy. What are you doing? Hi, baby. You have some delay? Oh no. Um, sorry I'm so late. Renee, you can never be late. Big issue at work that I have to deal with. <gasps> I hope you were uh, able to uh, resolve it. I'm so sorry. Issues at work are never fun. Are you ruining the curtain floop? I'm okay with that. It's cool. It's your curtain too. I get it. Oi gets it. Hey. Oh, hi. <laughs> hey, baby. She's just chilling with us. Such a relief that she's back to her old self. Why? What is wrong with the color of this one? Is it the same? Yeah. <laughs> I think she wants to yoink your water. She's like, give me that. Give me that. No thanks. Is it tuna flavored water? Hmm? Is that I'm all ears? Yeah. Otherwise, get out of here. My office is so hot right now and no no one else is up. Really? Is it like facing the sun? Where are you going? Do you want to sit here? Do you want to make an appearance for the people? The people want to see you. Loopy. The people want to see you. Nope, she's just sitting. She's just sitting on the floor. You have no windows? Ew, I hate that. You should have windows. I disagree with the situation. Um, I think I want some vines here too. There's different ones too, right? Are those in debug as well? Maybe they aren't. Oh no, I'm not gonna pay money for vines. Okay, I'm not doing it. Ooh, there's this stuff too, which is kind of fun. Nah. Nah. Okay, you know what? Maybe I want. 
We can pay a little bit of money for some vines. Like, it's okay. Like, if I wanted to do this, for example. It doesn't even look that good. Honestly, what I feel like would be cuter is the... Ooh, maybe these. Oh. Why do I like that? And then we'll make it a little bit more overgrown. With some of the other vines. Some of this stuff. That looks a bit odd. I don't like those. Um, excuse me. Music. Points. Don't mind me. <laughs> Wait, why is it not listening to you? Maybe it's peanuts. I think it's peanuts. Um... Do you still get money if you use your coat on a free pack? That's a good question. No, uh, I don't know. The answer is not, I don't know. The answer is no, <laughs> sorry. But if you happen to get any packs on sale, then you can use the code and then it works. And then I actually get 7% of your purchase instead of five. So, that is something you could consider if you want to, but there is no pressure. Thank you. This is my song to you. Um, that's kind of cute. I like it. That's a lot of nuts. <laughs> oh my God, that is a lot. <laughs> that's crazy. I might nap. Please go nap, Olive. It's needed. Is the sale still on? Yeah. I'm not sure how long it's on for. Actually, no clue, but I know that there's a sale right now. Um. I want the, this costs money, right? No, these things are free. <gasps> As they should be. Oh, that is glorious. I can add some cracks and things. Oh, this is amazing. You can't really see them, but they're there. Mold with the fur. Oh, that, that does not sound good. <laughs> Mold with fur. Mm. I mean, doesn't mold technically? Gets fur. It's furry, right? Yeah, <laughs> In a way. Yeah. You're onto something. I am onto something okay. here. You can't really see it on this wallpaper, but it's there. How do you use the code? I can't find it. Yeah. When you order from the EA app or the website, you can enter a promo code and that's where you can enter the Simmery Sims code. Um, it's not a discount code though. It's just a way for me to um, get a small percentage of your purchase. Thank you so much to EA for sponsoring. When you pay, there's a, yeah, exactly. It's there for the vibes. Yeah, for the cozy mold vibes. I'm in my cozy mold era, everyone. Did this last time too with the little Tartosa build. I just, it brings me a lot of joy. Probably more than it should. Oh my God. Those are disgusting and they cost money. So I'm not using it. <laughs> Floop is on the floor next to me. Hang on, let me let me take a picture and show you. This is amazing. 
She's kangarooing on the floor. She definitely is. This is what I see when I look down. <laughs> My little kangaroo cat, just chilling. During the spring sale, Marie will get 7% share instead of the 5% too. And you know what? So does Honey May. What's your code, May? Honey May Sims or just Honey May? So you can pick and choose which creators you want to support, if any. Um, she is so cute. Yeah, she is. She's honestly the cutest. Honey May. See, there you go. May has a code as well, which is Honey May. Hi, baby. Oh, okay. It's murder time. <sighs> She's stuck. <laughs> her little paw. There we go. <laughs> she was stuck in my sweater. <laughs> they give her the shout out to May. Hey, baby. I think she wants food, but honestly, there's enough for you to go around, okay? It's just not the fancy stuff. Ooh, these are cool. These are a little bit more visible. Oh, that's actually pretty good. I'm gonna add a couple of those. Can I size them up? Would that make sense? Sort of. Not completely, but that's fine. Um, for some earned commission. <laughs> this is kind of fun. I love adding this. I never really do this to the outside. I should do this more often. It's fun. Okay. Hmm. It's subtle and cute. Okay, let's save this. And I should honestly add a little bit of terrain paint to this. I need to create some sort of pathway. Somehow, what am I gonna use for that? Maybe this. The grass? does not line or match with a uh, Brindleton grass, but I can do some layered. Oh my God, there she is. Floop, making an appearance for the first time after she got sick. And this is her back in action. Almost all healthy. Will the inside be fully furnished or just a few rundown objects? I'm going to make it livable, but we have like, we have a lot of rooms. We have the master bedroom down here, which I'm going to furnish that one, but we don't have any kids yet. So I'll leave the two smaller rooms probably free of decorations. And this one, maybe I'll just put a small desk with a computer, you know, just, it's not going to be finished, but it's going to be livable and some rooms are gonna be empty. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Now go stand in the corner and think about Oh, Mary, thank you for the 100 bitties. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much, my love. All kisses for Floop. Mm, you hear that, Floopy? Everyone's happy to see you. She has a little shaved belly. Can't really see it, but she's cleaning it right now because of this, for the scan. Uh, Mary, thank you so much for the 100 biddies. That is so incredibly generous of you. Um, maybe this one? Yeah, maybe I like that one the most. Or there's this. Which is also kind of fun. And then I can layer that. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Now go stand in the corner and think about what Excuse you did. Excuse me. Kissy Floopy. Kissy Floopy. Oh my god. That is so cute. May, thank you for the hundred biddies. I really appreciate that. 
Oh, and Gina, we love our queen. Thank you for the seven bits. You're so kind and so sweet. If Floopy only knew, you know? If she only knew. Everyone loves you so much. She can't be bothered. <laughs> Which is on brand for the floop, you know? It's fine. It's okay. Oh, that's kind of fun. Yeah, yeah. And I'll... Um, put some grass back. Is this the same grass? No, but it's close enough. That one, yeah. Ooh, yeah, that's that's cool. We can layer it a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And of course, some dirt. Perfect. I need to remind myself this is that this is not supposed to look pretty. It's supposed to look run down. Cozy, but run down. And then over time, we can like fix up some of the landscaping to pretend that we're doing some gardening. Ooh, I have some uh, open spots here left to do. Yes. Perfect. Ooh, and I need to do this this garden situation to uh, make that like dirt and add some rows of darker dirt, if that makes sense. <laughs> like under here, maybe. Um. Yeah. Can you really see that? I don't know. I'll layer some more. I love layering terrain paint. There's just something so calming about it. These aren't actual functional, actually functional crops, but they're still fun. That sound is cozy to me for some reason. Yeah, the terrain paints ASMR is the best. It's really quite calming in a way. Did I finish my tea? Dang it, I didn't. <laughs> I'll have the last sip of literally cold tea. It's fine. We got mango tea. Which is actually really good. I can't remember ever, ever having mango tea, but it's really tasty. ASMR building videos are doing well these days. Ooh, taking notes. I've seen a couple, um, I think it's the creator, Danielle Builds. She has the most gorgeous builds. And I, I've seen her shorts of like roofing ASMR and like, landscaping ASMR. It's so fun. Maybe I should give it a go as well. It's really cozy. You're not ready for this. Uh, I put my Sims 2 <laughs> quick version in Discord. <gasps> I'll go look for it after, uh, look it up after stream. I can't wait to see what you did. It's probably so pretty. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't believe you actually did that. Okay. This is good. Ooh, maybe I should add this one in. Ooh. 
like so. Mm -hmm. That's kind of pretty. Some gross. Sh still not sure what this is. Maybe I'll add it like here. Is that weird? I don't know. I kind of like it. It's kind of cute. It's probably weird, but I like it. So that's what matters. Thank you for the save the game. Yes, I really should. Mew, mew, mew. Okay. Now, money, money wise, I really shouldn't add a lot more roof details and stuff, but like, this is kind of fun. I, I, I really want to add one of these weird looking chimneys. It's probably weird, but I like it. <laughs> My friends say about me. Same. Same. That's what all you say about me and you're all my friends. So I really want to add this thing because it just adds so much for like fixer upper vibes or maybe it should go here on this roof. Hang on. It's always so weird with roof decorations when you put them down and then pick them back up, they kind of jump all the way up. I don't understand that. Oh yeah, that's cute. And maybe over time we'll be able to like add some solar panels and stuff to it. That would be nice. Okay, now for the inside. Um, let's plonk some lights in. We can do, hmm, I really want to do like wood floors everywhere. Maybe I can just continue this same flooring. This is cheap, right? Yeah, this is only four. Or I can use the Granite Falls flooring since this is the um, outdoor retreat generation that we're on. It's actually not a bad idea. I could just do that. And then for the kitchen, we'll do tile. And for the bedrooms, do I want to do carpet? Maybe. Carpet is pretty cheap. Ew. Oh, that's actually kind of good. It's so gross. Oh, that lighter color is not too bad. We'll add that upstairs and in all the bedrooms. And we need like a half wall or a fence here. Let's do a half wall. Mm, yes. And stair railing. I think I just do a regular bit. Why is that 55 simoleons? That's ridiculous. This is 15. That's more like it. This is 10. This is two. <laughs> this is one. This is eight. Five is the cheapest. Okay. Well then I guess 10 is fine. Ten is cheap enough for me. And that will do the trick. Um Is this <laughs> Is this less than three? <laughs> less than three? Hmm? Um also old tile. I think I'm just gonna go with this. Ew. 
It's a fixer-upper, so you gotta do what you gotta do. We're using that. I'm sorry, Hazel and Jane. It's not pretty. But I promise, soon enough it'll be your dream home, okay? I promise you that. I could also get rid of this, and then this window situation makes a little bit more sense. kind of wanted to add a closet in but don't have to because this is going to be the master bedroom does that make sense i mean it is the biggest bedroom so i guess we'll do that but we're gonna have a baby upstairs and we are going to be sleeping downstairs but maybe the baby will be in the parents bedroom first Katie, my love, how is it going? How does TG, <laughs> yes, lady, say it again. Yes, that's exactly, May, that is exactly how she says it. You even use the right spelling. Kleiner Dondri. Oh my God, Floop. Why are you so hecking precious? I feel like she never does that. She never lays down on the cat tree. She always just sits there for a little bit. But the little munchkin decided to sleep up there. She wants to be with us. The black blob in the back. She has decided to stay. <laughs> that makes me so happy. Um, okay. And then for wallpaper, I think I just want to do... This is two, which is kleiner dan three. But also, how much is the basement wallpaper? Six? Okay, we're not doing that. We're doing the chip out cheap, disgusting city living wallpaper. I'm sorry. Uh... These colors are absolutely terrible. They are so bad. I guess I'll just do the white. And we could do the werewolves for the stairs, maybe. This one. That is not pretty. That is not pretty. I can use white, maybe. Yikes, no. Um, ooh, we could also use this. That's better. Yeah, let's use that. I feel privileged to have Floop's company. Yeah, she has decided to hang out here for the first time since she got a little bit unwell. She feels so much better now, and she decided that it was time to show her fans her face. I'm very grateful. Hmm. Maybe that is pretty. Not sure if it makes sense at all, but... I like it. And for the hobby room, let's do a cute pink wallpaper. That is Jane's vibe. So I feel like she could have a little pink hobby room. Or we make it like green or something. Oh, this dark color. Oh, I like that a lot. Okay, we'll do that one. And maybe we'll do the same here. Ew, no. I take it back. We'll do that. Also gross, but that's supposed to be gross. It's fine. Can I get an autograph from Milady Floop? Um, yes. She's currently on break. But I will put in the request. She's actually like sleeping. Yeah, she's chilling Sorry. there. She's not Could you not yell, please? Uh, yeah. Sure. <laughs> Sometimes she's like, she's like, most times she's sitting. Yeah, like, that's really, what like, I just said. Down. Yeah, and now she decided to like... She's sick, yo. Hang out a little. 
Only if I can get one from, from Lilo. Yes, I would like one from Lilo as well, please. And thank you. How would one go about that? Just inquiring. Mm. I do like this wallpaper. I mean, I don't like it per se, but I feel like it kind of goes with the with the vibe. Or, eh? How about that? Yeah, we're doing this one. <laughs> I have decided. It's also going in the bathrooms. Uh, the bathrooms. And I'll use this same wallpaper up here, I guess. Or maybe the one without the board situation. Yeah, that's better. And this is going to be, hmm. Let's use that in there. And these rooms can be yellow and green. I'm not exactly sure what will be like one of them will be a baby room or maybe we'll use this as the first baby room. That's actually also a possibility. Maybe eventually what I will do, cause I don't think we're gonna have more than two kids. So maybe eventually with renovations, I'll get rid of this wall. I could just do that now to be fair. They're pretty massive rooms, but I could put in a closet wall for storage. Ooh, that's not bad. And then that room gets one too. I'm putting it back. Is this for Sunny? No, this is for my pack legacy challenge that I'm playing over on YouTube. Um, for my two Sims called Hazel and Jane, they're married and they're soon going to have at least one baby, but I'm thinking two children total. And they're currently in a rental, so they don't have a lot of money to spend. How much are those 730 simoleons? That's a criminal offense. There is no other way to put it. Not doing more than one. <laughs> Definitely not doing more than one, okay. Well, that's cool. And they don't get one down there. Nope, not doing it. Okay, this is kind of cute. Saving. And I think I'm gonna just have them sell all their furniture. So we're gonna start from scratch. We of course have some decorations that I wanna keep. Um, like some photos and like a marriage, marriage certificate. I can't talk like that kind of stuff, but nothing else really. Uh, need to put some lights out. Maybe this. Ew, that's not pretty. What about this? 70 simoleons. 55, that's more like it. Put one down here and here and here. It's a pretty massive porch. It's, that's actually nice. I like that. Oh, thank you for the ads, heads up, Gina. Appreciate it so much. Um, what should we put out here? A little bench, maybe? Ooh, we could do like some of this seating, maybe. 
That looks kind of cute there. Like I said, since this is the outdoor retreat um, generation, it's kind of cute to try to use some of that stuff, maybe. It's cute. Um, maybe a little rug. Or some stains. Ew! I mean, it's a fixer-upper. It only makes sense to have some suspicious stains, you know? I don't need it to be gross, but it's kind of fun to see some stuff on the floor, you know, some letters and things. We also need a letterbox, by the way. There is no welcome mat, so they have some old newspapers. Just hanging out here. Uh, Kershi Momo, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. Will there be mold? Oh, yes. Listen, all the cozy mold will be here. Definitely. I also feel like this is going to be their sign to get a pet. I think they're they should get a little a little pet. A little cat I feel like would suit them. Or a dog for Hazel's solo camping trips that she does from time to time. That would actually be kind of cute. Cozy mold? Yes. <laughs> All the cozy mold. It's needed. Um, we also need a mailbox. I will only use this one ever since we got it. It's just so nice. The for rent one. I hope that's functional. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. Um, okay, I really have to like not put in too much stuff. Don't we have like really, yes, this one. It's just some random boxes I think is gonna be the best. Cute storage boxes. They're also cheap. They're only 65 sm They're actually more expensive than I thought they would be. Can't lie, but that's fine. Putting in some boxes. We can have like a coat rack. That's fine. And um, maybe a, a small chair, one of these guys. Sure, sure. A sad hallway, perfect. Kind of want to put this here. That's better maybe. Yes. Sure. Um, back 05, thank you so much for that follow. Welcome in. That's their shoe, shoe putting on chair, exactly. <laughs> yeah. We love the cozy grungy bells here. We really do. It's just my favorite thing. I've never actually done this where I like, where I'm not completely furnishing it. That's new for me. It's like a move-in ready kind of house. How much is it? It's 21, so it's already over starter budget. I'm so sorry about that. 
But we will probably have a little bit more to spend than starter budget. And the let's play. I'm glad the cozy mold is free. That makes me happy. Um, okay. Ooh, this sofa is cheap and really ugly. <laughs> Reusing it though. This is cheaper, but not really, it's too modern, you know? It's too nice. It's like an outdoor kind of thing. This one's too, this could also, I could also opt for this furniture. Since we are in the outdoor retreat generation. That might actually be kind of fun. I never use this stuff, so that might be a fun way to go about this. Um, how are we gonna lay this out? Maybe like a little living room set up like this? Mold Queen! <laughs> you do them so well, thank you! I'm so glad you like it. I have a lot of fun with it. We could lay it out like this, or would this make more sense? No, I think I want to do this. Mm. Ooh, radiators are cheap. Fake fireplace? Fireplaces are expensive. So maybe a fake one would be good for us. Um, yeah. And then I can put a chair that matches. Oh, this one. Oh, that's cool. When do you get to use this chair? Doesn't happen very often. That's fun. And creepy, but also fun. You have a suggestion? Let me know. What's your what, what is your suggestion? I can't talk. It's fine. 30 simoleons. That's how we like to see it. My favorite coffee table. Perfect. Maybe this one needs to be like blue. Yeah. Any cheap rugs that kind of fit the vibe? Ooh, yeah, werewolves. It's not that cheap. Well, it's 60. I guess we can get away with that. I'll make it a little bigger. Perfect. Maybe this color. It's kind of cozy. And oh, they are in such a cute house right now. And now they're just moving to this like, yikes, fixer upper house. You can use candle. Ooh, that is actually a good idea. Square wood pieces. Um, to place as like the decorative fireplace block. Wait. Square wood pieces. It's in for rent. I'm gonna go take a look. Um, yeah, thank you. That is a really good suggestion. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to... They bought it with their own money. Exactly. It's cute, and they have some things to fix. I really need to calm down with the decorations. Ugh. I really want to clutter everything up now, because I just love these types of builds so much. Um, for rent comes with wood pieces? Hmm. 
Is it in debug? I know there's these wood pieces in tar in the Tartosa pack. I could try to find those, maybe. Mm. No, I see them in my brain. This small little thing with wood. What is it? What pack is that from? It's gonna take me forever to find it now. Oh, perfect, this box, we need it. It's zero simoleons, that is how I like to see it. Amazing. A little thingy with wood. I wish I knew what they were called. Lots of packs have them. They're decorative. Thank you. I'm going to go try to find some. Because I I think I used them in a cottage build like last week. Oh. Come on, little tiny wood pieces in a little basket. It's not a basket. For rent has one? Hang on. From werewolves. Yes, these! This is what I meant. Thank you. <laughs> Ooh, this is actually cute. We could like put this here. Is that floating? Yes, a little bit. There we go. Oh, thank you. Got him. That's a good swatch. I like that one. That's actually really cute. And then you can put candles to like make it look like it lights up too. But I think I just want the like, just a little bit of wood in here for this one. It's a really good idea though. Um, Werewolves has such cool things. I love that pack. Oh, we need to have a rocking chair. Let's put a rocking chair on the back porch. Like right there. I'm sorry, that is so cute. They have a lot of work to do on this house, but it definitely has potential, you know what I mean? I use them all the time for the fireplace and like a backsplash or something. That, yes, that's so cute. Might get werewolves for the build buy stuff and just disable werewolves in the world. Yeah, that's a pro tip to just like turn them off because they get very overwhelming. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try to take a pic of what I'm talking about and send it in the Discord or somewhere. Yeah, sure, sure. Sorry, um, Mika, I'm not sure what happened there. <laughs> I think the Streamlabs Automod posted a, uh, thought you posted a link. <laughs> Can I just say how proud I am of you? You have built and started decorating this in the same stream. Katie, thank you. I really appreciate that. Thank you, my love. Yeah, we are doing pretty good. It's going pretty fast. That's what happens when you try to keep things simple, I guess. These curtains are really cheap. They're not necessarily very run down looking, but also not necessarily very nice. So maybe it's something we could use. Um, they are very cheap though, which is definitely a good thing. I could also use these werewolves ones, but then it's like too creepy and old. And that's not what I'm trying to achieve. Uh, I do want some bookcases maybe back here. Maybe just the one. <laughs> oh my God, that is so sad. Just this little book. <laughs> that's so unfortunate for them. 
But hey, it's functional. They love to read, though. Um. Okay, I really shouldn't add a lot more, because... It's all adding up, you know? This is why we need to fix our upper pack blankets on the windows. Yeah, exactly. Top tier fixer upper vibes. It's not necessarily creepy, but it's like, I don't have curtains yet. So here's my bed sheets. You know what I mean? Uh, we could do with a plant. What is a cheap plant? Ooh, the fiddly fig is all the way down here. Well, we'll put it in anyway. And then there's this old lamp from not werewolves, but the basement treasures. Ooh, yes. That's cute. That's actually kind of nice. Okay. Perfect. This kitchen is really small. Are we gonna have space for a dining table too? Okay, so for fixer upper cabinets, we really only have these, but they're too modern. That's my issue with those. So I think I'm gonna go for the next best thing and that's these from horse ranch i think that's the way to go and what swatch do i want maybe this one i love lamp yeah lamps are great listen they're phenomenal I'm so glad they exist. This is cute. We can put a little fridge maybe here. It's gonna be a bit of a weird kitchen. Mm. Oop. How about the country kitchen ones? Yeah, those are really cute too. But I think they're a little bit too expensive. I really want to try to use the cheapest version of things. These are 275 per counter. These are 120. So maybe we can use these to like, when we fix up the place, but try to keep it like charming and farmhousey, but like updated, renovated. Maybe that's what we can use those for. That's cute. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. I really like it. And then we can do that. And this. And I'll put the stove here, I think. Going to go make dinner now. Enjoy the uh, the pizza season. See you all soon. I love you so much, Mary. Thank you for hanging out with us today. And enjoy your dinner. I hope you have the best dinner. Nice build. I want to make a restaurant in Granite Falls. That is actually such a good idea. A restaurant? Oh. <gasps> Okay, I'm adding that to my list. I love that idea. A little outdoorsy type of restaurant for when you're on vacation there. Smart. Really smart. Uh, that one, because it's cheap and sad, and that's what we need. A cozy diner. Yeah, exactly. You place the picture on Discord. Thank you, Bubblini. I appreciate that. Seafood restaurant. Ooh, I love that. 
oven dish, uh, Togatella shrooms and leeks. Oh, you have to do all the choppy chopping. I'm proud of you for making fresh, fresh, fresh di dinner with all the choppy chopping. Um, I think you're right, sir. The pizza's gonna be late again. <laughs> Floop is just like facing the corner now. She's just sitting there. She's yawning. She's just chilling, facing the green light in the corner. <laughs> An insect restaurant. Oh my god. Okay, but why does that sound cozy? <gasps> cute. So cute. I'm putting that one there. Oh, that's really nice. This is a really cute cabinet situation. I feel. It's a lot, but it's cute. And we have space for a dining table. Absolutely glorious. Only a small one right now, because this is cheap. <laughs> so that's what we're using. But definitely space for like a, a nice five seater table, maybe. So cute, thank you. <laughs> she also loves lamp. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Um, let's do a little three-seater for now. With some mismatched chairs. Cute. Um, big thing to start this challenge too, I love that. We need the buckets with veggies in them. Oh, yes. They're from Country Kitchen, right? Also, we need a um, trash can. In importante. Very importante. We also, I d in game, I barely use appliances. So I don't think I'm going to spend any money on that. What I do want to use is the bucket of veggies. Country kitchen kit. The first kit we ever got. Do you remember that? I was so obsessed with it. The fact that we got a kit with like a brand new kitchen. I was very excited about it. Still really like that kit. My first country stuff. <laughs> Did you see the... I, I just uploaded it today. I uploaded this stream of Wednesday stream where we played Not So Berry and we took the screenshot of the hedgehog and I used it as a, th as a thumbnail on YouTube for the upload of the VOD. It makes me so unreasonably happy. Baby's first wood chopping <laughs> Amazing. More veggies, let's go. You did see it actually. I love that. That makes me happy. Not too much clutter. Someone stop me. Someone take the clutter away from me. Uh, maybe a random box. Okay, that's nice. Um, range hood? Ooh, these things are expensive. 
Maybe the cheaper one. Oh, they're really bad. That is really bad. But, you know, it's a fixer-upper, it's fine. Cookie jar, yes please. You will find Joanna myself there. Oh, I deleted it. I'll put the cookies back. I'll put them back, don't worry. I'll put some base game cookies, like right there. No, that's odd. I'll put them right there. Base game cookies for you, okay? And a little back door rug situation, okay? Yes. I love this kitchen. A cozy rundown kitchen. Mm -mm -mm. And I really want the light from, is it laundry day? I think it is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, perfection. It's perfection is what it is. Um, need a fire alarm because I am nice like that. This is for gameplay purposes, so. <laughs> Gotta make sure to add these things. Temperature controls, eh. Put them here. Well, that's all we need for a functional kitchen, I think. They should have a big dog. Yeah, I think so too. At first I was thinking cat, but now I'm like, maybe I should give them a dog. Cause it's fun for Hazel when she goes on her camping trips. Jane doesn't always go with her on these camping trips. So that way she still has the dog to bring. Maybe they could adopt a stray. Yeah, cause there's probably gonna be lots of dogs and stray, just stray pets walking around, right? Ooh, that's actually so cute. Okay, Jane's little office or crafting room for gemology. Um, here we go. Hmm. Huh. Oh my god, that scared me. <laughs> what? Everyone, pizza's here. Everybody grab a plate. Pizza's here. Pizza's here, Floop. Now go stand <gasps> in the corner and Katie! What did the horse say after it tripped? Help. I've fallen and he can't get the UP. <laughs> she messed it up! I can't get it, Ipe. <laughs> That's hilarious. Thank you for the 100 biddies. I really appreciate it. And back 05, I'm so sorry. Thank you so much for that follow like half an hour ago. I completely missed that one. I quit. Thank you, Titi. <laughs> Giddy up, <-a. laughs> It's a fabulous joke. I'm sorry she messed it up, Katie. It was so good. Um, You can make a, f a functional kitchen with a microwave and a fridge in this. That is so true. This is already way too much. I'm way too nice to my Sims. You're right. Ooh, we need a market table for she actually has that in her inventory. So maybe I just, I'll just leave it out of the yard for now. Um, what else could we put in? Maybe a little chair that looks distressed. So that's actually good. A random little chip. Are you, okay? little pizza. Are you okay, sir? Pizza. <laughs> we have the pizza. I know, I know. It smells really yeah, good. The, yeah, the pizza. It smells really good. Some tools for her. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Sir, are you mocking me? No. Yes, you are. No. Yes. Um, and some tools on the wall, too. Maybe here. It's, it's not like the nicest room yet. But she's gonna grow into it. At least she has some cute stuff in here. Um... Maybe I could put this under the window. That's nice. Oh, I like that a lot. With some of her stuff up there. Yeah, yeah. That's cute. Do you have a budget in mind? Not necessarily. I'm trying to keep the cost down as much as possible, but I don't really have a set budget in mind, no. Um, maybe I want another one of these in here. And there's more boxes in basement treasures. Hope they're not too expensive. 20? Oh, that's good. Thank you, game. 20 simoleons I can do. You know what I mean? We have pizza. We I, have know, pizza. I know, we I know, I know. Pizza. pizza. The man's hungry. So am I, actually. You know what? We'll finish this tomorrow. And then I think after that, maybe we can start even, we can even start another build. Just kind of fun. So subtle, sir. <laughs> mm. yeah. I think a fun rule for fixer uppers is that you have to replace items with a more expensive item. So you can't, so you can't get a nicer looking item for less. That is actually a really good one. That's actually really, a really, very like smart. Wait, do you have pizza? I can't tell. <laughs> Yeah, the pizza just got here. Yeah, we'll finish this up tomorrow. It's honestly pretty much almost finished because we're not gonna decorate everything to a T. What are you having again today? <laughs> I'm not sure. I think it was burgers, maybe? I'm not sure. Also, saving it quickly to my library, so. I built it sideways. I didn't realize that. It's fine. I always use the wrong orientations for this lot. <laughs> I could never tell, but this is supposed to be the front. Well, it's not. Now this is the front. I'm sorry. It looks like the house has a monobrow. Do you see that? <laughs> Has a little mono brow. It's cute. Thank you, Tara. Thank you. Yeah, let me go right here. We'll fix the house tomorrow. Um, or finish the house tomorrow. We won't fix it. And then after that, maybe we can start on a restaurant in the camping world. I think that is such a cute idea. And definitely something I can use for that same Let's Play too. Moved my office around and I hate it. Dang it, Kate. Dang it, Cram. I, I really had high hopes for this. Too bad. <laughs> Maybe you just need to give it a minute. Maybe it needs to grow on you. I don't know. Um. Uh, thank you so much, Drink Water. I really appreciate that. You are so sweet. And Tease, yes, of course, you're welcome. Glad I caught the end of stream. Me too. I'm so happy you could be here. Um, we're raiding. We're raiding. We're raiding. Oh, we're gonna go say hi to um 
Dizzy Miss Lizzie. That's always a good time. Always a good time. Um, so have a slice for me? Yes. Oh, yes. There is enough pizza for the whole class. This is, um, it's going to be a pizza party. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I love you all so much. Um, and like I said, I'll be back tomorrow. We'll finish this house. We'll start a new build. It's going to be a fun, cozy building time just like today. I love you too. Thank you so much, May. I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day, evening, whatever time it is for you. We have some raid messages there. If you're new here and if you like to get notified of when I go live next, which is tomorrow, um, you could hit that follow button right now and then you'll get notified. Um, thank you. I will definitely enjoy the pizza. I can smell it. It smells so good. Um, yes, I love you so much. Let's go say hello to uh, a Disney Miss Lizzie. Don't forget to check out Discord. I won't. Thank you so much for sharing, Bubblity. I'm going to go check it out. Um, I love you all so much and I'll see you tomorrow, okay? I love you. I miss you already. Goodbye.